Hi everyone. You know, there are some modern day uh, prophets who are saying that when things ramp up even more than they're ramped already, that God will provide places of refuge for his people, places of spiritual protection and physical protection um, against the Antichrist and against the demons who are kind of running rampant in our world today. I don't know if um, this will be true or not. Um, I did look in the Bible for examples of when God provided refuge for his people and it scripture tells us that he has done that in the past so I'm not going to rule it out. Anyway, one day I was sitting at the grave of a priest who died a few years ago and whom I miss very much because I felt like he was truly a priest for Christ. I could see Christ in him, in his smile, in the great reverence with which he um, offered the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the way he cared for his parishioners like a true shepherd. He just set such a good example and I miss him like heck. Well anyway, sometimes I go and I pray um, at his grave even though I know he's not there anymore. Um, but one morning it was early and the sun was coming up and it was cat you could there were shadows on the ground because of the trees overhead but there were places where the light was shining through the branches and it the sunlight illuminated little pieces or little droplets of dew and as I looked at the ground kind of blanketed in darkness and noted those little gems of dew just illuminated by the sun, what immediately came to my mind was, you know, what very well could be in the future. Um, we see uh, darkness just kind of enveloping or blanketing our world right now. Um, many people um, are feeling hopeless. Many people are fearing, feeling fearful. Um, it seems as though we are just surrounded by uh, sin and we're surrounded by people who want to take away our freedom. And when I looked at these little points of dew, I thought, wow, that's kind of like maybe what it will be like in the future. We will have vast areas of darkness, but God will not let the light of faith die out. There will be these little um, far spread, I guess you'd say, points of light um, where he will keep his people um, close to his heart and spiritually protected from all of the evil around us. And so I did think, as I was looking at that, of those places of refuge. And then just a few weeks ago, I happened to be passing by my kitchen door and there's no curtain on the kitchen door. And I noticed a firefly passing by the kitchen door. And I was so excited because it had been years since I had seen fireflies. Well, now our house, our lot, backs up to these deep woods. And so I called my husband and I said, come on out, you gotta see this. And we sat in our rocking chairs on the back porch and oh my goodness it was such a treat the woods were lovely dark and deep <laughs> and very dark but there were these little points of light 
these fireflies that would just light up their area, light up their area for just a quick second. And again, the thought that I had while I was sitting by father's grave about darkness seeming to envelop the world, but there always being these bright little points of light to keep us spiritually safe, close to the Lord, and to give us hope, to give us hope. So um, that was just kind of a little um, thought I had um, twice, once with the dew and once when the with the fireflies, and um, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I felt like it was something that perhaps the Holy Spirit had put on my heart. So let us end with prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu, in mulieribus, benedictus frutus ventris tu, Iesu. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis, pectoribus, nunt in ora mortis nostre. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.